Hello, favorite students. Welcome to the first video in Mr. Peacock's online physics video series. Um, today we are solving motion problems using our three motion equations and the OK team method. So I'm going to walk you through the method. You should have your notes pack that you picked up in class. And we're going to start with notes on the OK team method. So OK team is an acronym. It stands for observe, known, target, equation, algebra, and math. Those are our steps when we are solving these problems. When we observe, that's just reading the problem, making sure we kind of understand what's being asked, understand what's happening. Known is where we highlight all of the givens or the things that we know about the problem. Target is where we figure out what is our goal, what's our target, what is the question asking us to find. Equation is when we pick which of our three equations we are going to use. Algebra is when we rearrange the equation to get our target. And math is when we actually plug the numbers in and solve it. So before we do the first example, we also need to talk about the variables. x naught is our starting position. It's where we are at the beginning of the problem. xf is our final position. It's where we are at the end of the problem. v naught is our starting velocity. It's what our velocity is when the problem starts. v final is our velocity at the end of the problem. A is acceleration and T is time. We have three equations that we use when we're talking about motion. All three of these are on the official AP Physics equation sheet, but I've also written them here. The first one is that final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration multiplied by time. The second one, final position equals initial position plus initial velocity multiplied by time plus one half the acceleration times time squared. And our last equation is that final velocity equals, sorry, final velocity squared equals initial velocity squared plus 2 times acceleration times the change in position, or x final minus x initial. So those are our three equations. So let's walk through the first example problem. Um, I'm here on the bottom of your notes pack where it says example problem. It says a car starts from rest and accelerates at 5 meters per second squared your notes actually say meters per second, but it's a typo. Acceleration is meters per second squared, so you want to add that in. Accelerates at 5 meters per second squared for 10 seconds. How fast is it going at the end of those 10 seconds? So I've already done the first one, observe. I've read through the problem. I understand what's happening. There's a car, and it's driving, and then it speeds up. Now I want to figure out what is everything I know. So I'm going to start reading the problem, and I'm going to look for these variables to see what things I know. So a car starts from rest. I know that rest means zero velocity, and it says that that's where it starts. So I'm going to write in my starting velocity, or my initial velocity, equals zero meters per second. And now I'm going to keep going. It's important to write out the variable equals and then the number that it is. You'll see why in a second. So then I accelerate at 5 meters per second squared. So I know that that is my acceleration, 5 meters per second squared. And again, I write the symbol acceleration equals the number that it is. So a car starts from rest, accelerates at 5 meters per, se per second squared for 10 seconds. So I know that my time 
is equal to 10 seconds. How fast is it going at the end? So I've observed, I figure out what I know. Now I've got to say, what is my target? The T in OK team stands for target. So my target is what the question is asking me for. So I read through and I see the question, how fast is it going at the end? How fast is it going at the end? So I look over at my variables and I know that the end, so it must be something final, and it's saying how fast is it going, so I think that it's going to be final velocity. So I write VF is my target. VF is my target. Now I have to pick an equation. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to look at my equations. And I'm looking for two things. The equation that I choose, it has to have all of my knowns. It has to have my target. And it cannot have anything else. So it has to have my knowns. It has to have my target. And it can't have anything else. So here I look, I've got initial velocity, acceleration, time, and final velocity. What I don't have is initial position or starting position. So because I can't have anything else, I've got to choose an equation that has these four but does not include position. So I'm going to look over here, and I know if I look at this last one, I can't use it because it has position in it. And the equation that I want to choose cannot have anything else, so it can't have position. So I know I can't do that one. If I look at this second one, it also has position. So I can't use that because I don't have position. Now if I look at this first one, I see it's got final velocity. Yep, that's what I have starting velocity or initial velocity, I have that, acceleration, I have that, and time, I have that. So this equation here, the first one, has all of my knowns, it has my target, and it doesn't have anything else. So this is the equation that I want to use. Vf equals v naught plus a times t. So check equation. Now I've got to do algebra. So I'm trying to figure out my target is v final. It's actually already done for me. I don't have to do any algebra. I already have v equals v naught plus a t. So this time that step is done for me. Next time I might have to rearrange this to get my target equal to something. And we're going to talk about that in class. But this time, it's already set up for me. So now my last step is to plug in my math. Vf, my target, equals my initial velocity, 0, plus my acceleration, 5, times 10, my time. So my final velocity equals 50 meters per second. So to recap, OK team, our process for solving it. Like, OK team is observe, knowns, target, equation, algebra, and math. All of our variables are starting position, final position, starting velocity, final velocity, acceleration, and time. We've got to find all of our knowns, find our target, decide which equation we're going to use, do the algebra if we need to to rearrange that equation, and then plug in our numbers. And that is how we solve motion problems using the OK team method.